Hi folks, welcome back to another video. This is DoorDash Sucks channel here on YouTube. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about how convoluted the, um, the DoorDash uh, tier system, well, the DoorDash um, Top Dasher program is in all of these programs, okay? Um, and... <laughs> Uh, you know, I was I was just critically thinking, you know what I mean? I was thinking about things, and I'm like, okay, so they want people to be in these programs, right? Which, when it says program, it's to program you to brainwash you into thinking the way they want you to think. And by the way, I've mentioned this before, but these companies, these gig app companies, pretty much have their own team of psychologists in... Um, sociologists that are um, behind the scenes working on ways to manipulate you all the time. Lie to you, cheat, steal, whatever, you know. And that's constant. That never stops. Um, and so what was going through my mind was the fact that if everyone is in the, say, the top Dasher program or the three-tier system program in the future that's supposed to be spread across the U.S., Right, if everyone's in that, then how does how did they determine who to give a, a delivery to based upon your ratings? Let's say there's 500 people in your area that are the same ratings as you, right? And I know that there was a idiot channel, and his name is uh, what the hell's his name? Uh, Sin City Deliveries, right? Richard or whatever his name is, okay. He was saying, oh, there's a tiebreaker. Like, this is a year ago. He was talking about Top Dasher. Like, the tiebreaker is if you had 81% and the other Dasher had 80%, theoretically, it would go to the one, right? But you don't really know that, folks. You don't, no one really knows who these orders really go to. Because I've seen it go backwards and forwards all different ways. But, like, it's not realistic to be doing taking all these deliveries and certainly the ones that don't make sense to and that are not pro why would you want to take it at delivery why would you knowingly want to take a delivery that you knew was not profitable because it's a promise of getting something later on like the carrot chasing i mean the rabbit uh, chasing the carrot uh and he never gets it because it's hanging on a string and it's just being pulled along you know um it makes no sense, you know. The programs are all designed to make DoorDash and these companies the money, not the driver. Okay? And they, they I mean, I'm going to try to link the massive lawsuit uh, uh, link to the video that I did like two, three weeks ago, uh, if I can remember in this. If not, just look for it on my channel here on DoorDash Sucks. And also, I am over at Gig Apps Exposed. That's my second channel, sort of a sister channel to this one. Um, it's a backup, too. Been doing a lot of uh, videos lately. But, you know, I was just thinking about that. And then, speaking about the Large Order Program, the Large Order Program is a... Dis they're all... These programs, folks, are discrimination programs. They discriminate against the, the regular drivers right that are doing the right thing they're delivering right but they don't want to take you know we're supposed to be independent contractors right oh it's so nice to be independent isn't it that's a lie folks any new people here you, you need to know that you're not an independent contractor you're an employee of the government of the state uh the communistic state socialistic fascist it's fascist it's fascism it's what's happening folks and uh, these companies are getting away with murder because the governments aren't even keeping the laws in place that are supposed to protect you as a consumer and a driver. You know, they let things run rampant. These companies rip everyone off. It's all part of Agenda 2030, Agenda 21. If you look up these terms, and I'm telling you, you'll find it to be true. Look up the World Economic Forum because they run all the businesses and the corporations through that system and through another company called BlackRock and Vanguard. Those are the people who are the real owners, the 
real owners of, of the companies. Now, I did a video uh, on my other channel on Gig Apps Exposed, exposing who the real owners are. I'm going to leave the link in this video so you guys who did, have not seen it over, you know, because some of you may not have even come over or even knew I had a second channel. But you should come over to that channel and start watching videos over there as well, folks, because I post a lot of different things that I don't post here, you know. But I just had it on my mind thinking about, like, the, these programs, how they've done nothing but terrible things for a lot of people. And, you know, every market is a little different than everyone else's. Rural and, you know, far out markets out in the rural areas are different, too. And people cannot make the same money. That's why a lot of these channels that say, hey, do this, do this. A lot of these people are living in cities. And they're, some of them are able to be slightly successful. Pardon me, folks. I'm just uh, looking at this. Had to take this delivery. Even though it's quite far. It's a, um, it's a highway mile, mile thing. So that's good. Anyways... Um, yeah, it's the whole system, folks, is just designed to keep you in a in a perpetual um, state of poverty. <laughs> because no matter what you do, you're still driving your car into the ground. And uh, look at your overall earnings. Look at your overall earnings for the year, the last year, the year before. Have you made any better money? Is it getting worse? Do you keep track of your, your earnings? What are you making week to week? What were you half making? A mile. Take exit 38 from Massachusetts. What were you making last year at this time? Same, better, worse? Let me know in the comments, you know? So anyways, um, try not to go along with these programs, especially if they're not. Don't try to jump the cart before the horse either because, like, for instance, if you're trying to keep your acceptance rate up high and all of that, thinking that, oh, I'll just smoothly go into doing this tier system, that's the wrong way to do it. Try to do it. I mean, I don't know. You do what you want to do, but what I'm saying is is if it's if you're still making money and you're cherry picking and all that, do it. Do it. Uh, and then try other things too if you want and see if it makes a difference. But all in all, you know, we need to try to stop these companies, folks. We need to try to stop them. Now, over in New York City, recently, they, DoorDash and the gig companies blocked the ability through through a appeal to appeal the lawsuit that was against them to, to put a law in, okay? So they're challenging the law, challenging the uh, court system because they, they made it $17.96 an hour in New York, but they're, they're blocking it. So now it's an appeal. So now these people were supposed to start getting paid soon, and they're not getting paid. Might want to come over to Gig Apps Exposed, watch that video. Anyways, uh, that's about all I have for you. For This is Tuesday, around 11.30 in the morning. Wanted to just say hello to everyone. And my channel here on DoorDash Sucks is still, still running. I just haven't posted in a while. So continue to come back and uh, like, subscribe, share, comment, and let me, let me know what you think. And I will catch you guys and gals on the next one, folks. Okay? Take care.